Serendipity Beach right now and we have our tickets to Compton. Exactly uh, five hours. And I'll bend rush hour. Damn Cambodia. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to say hello to all of our Cambodian viewers. I was reading through the comments and saw that we have a lot of viewers here. So we're in Phnom Penh right now. We're going to go down. Uh, we're on top of our hotel, just kind of checking out the sights. We're going to go down and go find breakfast and see what else we can find. We're having breakfast at the vegetarian restaurant again. Delicious. Yeah, this is a nice little getaway. It's all quiet, quiet. and jungle-like here. I'm having a bowl of fruit salad. They actually call this Hawaiian fruit salad. Oh, is that the Hawaiian one? I thought it was so cute. So I'm having that. It's got dragon fruit, papaya, watermelon. Uh, I think there's pineapple in there, apple. And I also had um, a dragon fruit juice. What do we got there? Um, baby carrot, bell pepper, cashew, tofu, and some cilantro. Mixed in barbecue sauce, really good. Mm. Yeah, you need your tuk-tuk racing goggles. <laughs> it's pretty dusty. Dust mask. <laughs> we just arrived at the Central Market in Phnom Penh, so we're gonna go check it out, see what we can find. Nice fragrance. Oh, ooh, it smells so good. Five dollars. Wow. Is that nice. the price? <laughs> I think so. Is it? I like the architecture here. That's pretty impressive. So this is the absolute central part of Central Market. <laughs> So it looks like all jewelry, watches, kind of like all the smaller items, yeah, and all the clothing and the food is outside and around it. The, the towel dilemma. Well, the, the everything. I just, I come here and I'm just like, oh, I found these really cute, like, uh, fitted yoga pants, nicely made. Man, three bucks. Uh, well, it started at six, but then, you know, <laughs> it went down to three. So tempting. I really want to get stuff here, but I can only carry so much in my one little backpack. I, I mean, there's like microfiber towels that would be really handy for traveling. Somebody told me about when they went to Indonesia, he got real sick, and then he went to the bar later and saw they were just dragging the ice across the ground. I thought, nah, dude. Here it is. There you go. There it is. They really do drag it across the ground, and it really does go into your drinks when That's you order at restaurants. We've got dragon fruits, apples, oranges, mango steam. Yeah, there's melons, rambutan, cigarettes, <laughs> fresh flowers. One thing that I really like here is that it's pretty easy to get around. There's tuk-tuks everywhere, pretty much on every corner really easy to get from one end of the city to the other. I've noticed too that they're all about the same set rate. There's not yeah. this, you talk to one and it's some crazy price and the next yeah. one's a reasonable Pretty price. Pretty much starting around Three two bucks. and three dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, I want to show you where we're staying. We are at the Jockey Hotel in Phnom Penh and it is $25 a night, which is more than we were hoping that we'd have to spend here for a guest house or a hotel. But, um, you know, it is the city, so prices are a little higher here than we were hoping. Uh, it does have a nice view of the city, um, so that's definitely a plus about this place because we did look at several. We looked at probably about 10 different guest houses and hotels, and this one seemed to um, kind of, I guess, fit what we're looking for. A nice basic room, a uh, comfortable bed, you got TV, mini fridge, it's air conditioned and the bathroom actually has a tub, which is pretty amazing. So no wet room in there. And I think we're gonna go out to dinner in a little while here, so we'll take you guys out. I, I kind of think it, it works because everybody's going like 20 miles an hour. It never worked like anywhere else because everybody drives too fast. Yeah, it's pretty slow going. Somehow through all of the chaos, it's, it's a mellow sort of chaos. Orange and 
watermelon juice, no ice. I ordered the healthiest stuff on the menu. This is what happens when I let Michael order <laughs> the restaurants. We got fried samosas, which he had last night, which they were really oh, awesome. I love yeah, those are delicious. Uh, French fries. And these are what, little dumplings? Dumplings. It's a sunny, beautiful day in Phnom Penh, and we are heading out this morning. We're on our bus. How was your experience overall in Cambodia? Would buy it again. Yeah, <laughs> liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it too. Yeah. It was a good time. Good people. Good time for the people. Yeah, loved it. A lot cheaper. Oh, it did take well, cheaper. Definitely cheaper than Thailand and uh, way less tourists. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think we just went across the Mekong.